Hello there, and welcome, beautiful stars. Yeah, let's get started. What is the overall energy between you and your person right now, Leo? All right, we have the King of Swords. So it looks like both of you are kind of all business together right now, uh, maybe not wanting to share too much emotions. Some of you could be in a separation with this person, maybe a fresh breakup for some of you. Some of you could do business together, like work together, something like that. But overall, there's some kind of emotional boundaries up. Maybe not wanting to share too much about emotions at the moment. We also have stability. This relationship can stand the test of time. So maybe you guys have known this person for a very long time or have been in a relationship with them for a very long time. Okay, here's love yourself first. This is a very good Leo card. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Maybe some of you have had to take somewhat of a step back in this connection uh, because this person hasn't been giving you enough appreciation possibly, or it's just that you both kind of have to go your own ways and just work on your own things. Just need to be more self-focused right now for both of you. Oh, look, it's your card, the sun. This one came out for cancer as well. That's very interesting. So this is the light side of the sun in this deck. There's the light and the shadow side. So let's see. Overall, I feel like you guys are doing pretty well despite whatever's going on in this connection. So either this connection is going you know, pretty good overall or you know, you're moving on to something bigger and better. Just feeling good about yourself, you know, respecting yourself, loving yourself, which is good. And here we have the prostitute card. So this one is the light attributes of it are accentuating the challenge of surviving without negotiating the power of your spirit. So that's interesting. So yeah, I feel like you guys are a real survivor. So it's like, you know, you're able to, I feel just, you know, really command a lot of attention and respect and just like, I like that there's like a bunch of money on this card as well. So I just feel like we're going to take the light attributes because I'm not getting a lot of like shady energy from this connection. Get you another archetype card here. Let's go ahead between both of you. Ooh, and then we have King. So it's very interesting because I was going to say, like with this King of Swords here, I was like, I really feel so much royalty coming through for you guys. Enlightened, benevolent leadership, benefiting those in your charge. So I feel like you guys are in a lot of like just power right now. And Knight, interesting. Loyalty, romance, and chivalry, a love of honor. So I feel like you guys are just trying to do like just really keep your nobility and your self-respect in this connection, your dignity, like whatever's going on, I feel like you guys are really trying to maintain your pride very much. So you're like holding your head up high in this connection. So this is good because I feel like no matter what happens in this connection, you guys are really going to either improve this connection together or you're going to come out of it, you know, braver, stronger, and better than ever. Okay, let's go ahead and look at you, Leo, and then we will look at your person. Yeah, I'm just really getting that you guys are a real survivor. That I feel like you've really like worked your way up in life. Okay, so what's Leo's overall energy in this connection for their person? Seven of Wands. All right, so I'm getting this real fighter energy from you right now that you're wanting to kind of do things on your own right now. So I do feel many of you are like moving on from this connection or just trying to regain some kind of strength. And I feel like you're doing it. You're really having victory. With that apology, you can expect the apology you want to hear. So maybe you're getting ready to apologize to them, or you really are feeling like they owe you an apology, and if they would just do that, then you'd probably you know, take them back in an instant. Because I do feel, you know, you have your pride and your dignity here, but you're also very fair, and so you would really hear them out, and you would accept their apology. You would be very forgiving, and I think I said this last week that one thing I like about Leos is like they might have a lot of pride, but I feel like they're also, you know, they're really big hearted. So they do forgive pretty easily, which is really nice. 
Okay, and here's past life relationship. You've known each other before. So this kind of goes with the stability that for a lot of you, you've known this person for a long time, or this could even be an ex of yours, or this could mean, yeah, literally like a past life relationship. Like you feel like you've known this person forever. Like they felt very familiar to you, even if this is a newer connection. Whoa, here's rage. Look at all that fire here. All of the anger I hold back is burning me up from inside. So the seven of wands can be like an adrenaline card as well. So maybe this person might have angered you somehow, but I feel like you're doing your best to really hold your, your dignity and keep your cool here. Here's letting go, number 26. This one as well, 10. Pay attention to signs. So maybe you've been getting some intuitive hits that maybe it's time for you to kind of move on. Or just, you know, kind of take a break or cool down for a bit, possibly. Here's unbridled, number 22. Your spirit set me free. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of independence coming through for you, Leo, right now. So I do feel that many of you are split from this connection or like newly split or just, you know, feeling like you need to kind of just have your space and, um, you know, do things on your own for a little while. All right. So let's see here. So for Leo, what are you thinking right now about your person in this connection? So let's see this card left about. Here we have the Seven of Cups. The Four of Wands. And the Six of Cups. Wow. All right. So Four of Wands can come up with a stability card a lot because this is a card of, you know, just feeling feeling really like at home and deeply rooted with someone. This is another card of feeling at home with someone. This can be the past life connection card as well. So I feel that, you know, no matter what goes on with this person, you like, I still feel like you, you would forgive them for just about anything. You know, if they would just kind of come forward with an apology to you, you're ready to like reconcile and forgive them. If not, you're, I feel like you're kind of confused what you're going to do if they don't come forward with that apology and, I feel like there's a lot of confusion going on for you in this connection right now. Maybe you're not quite sure, you know, you maybe need to move on, but you're not too sure what direction to take. You're not really, you know, really determined to move on right now because you still do feel, feel a sense of home and permanence and stability and this beautiful, loving connection with this person. So you're just kind of like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what the future holds for me right now. Okay. So what about your feelings for them? Okay, here's the magician. The two of swords. And the two of wands. All right, here we go again where you're kind of stuck. You feel conflicted, mentally conflicted about which way to go because you feel that there is a crossroads like you can either stay with this person or you can go ahead and move on to something better so i feel like you really want to be stepping into your power right now but on the other hand you have this hesitation because you still have these feelings for this person okay what else for you leo okay here is the knight of pentacles yeah, you've been very reliable for this person. I feel very steadfast for them. Very patient. Yeah, you know, here's the two of cups. You've really shown your love to this person. Maybe you've really tried to romance them and just really show how loyal you are to them. Wow, temperance. Speaking of like just loyalty and being there for the long term, this is a card of just patience and balance. So I feel like you've been so patient with this person. You've been very kind and loving with them. So I don't know what happened where, you know, you guys kind of felt like you had to go your own way. Something, something must have um, been kind of major here. I'm not seeing like the tower come up, but maybe they haven't been just moving quickly enough for you. Maybe they're, they're just too stuck. 
or maybe they are, you know, with the prostitute card, they're selling out a bit to maybe more material concerns. And it could be that, you know, maybe you're just on like kind of a higher level than them right now. Maybe they're still kind of out questing as the knight and they don't really know what they want in life just yet. And maybe they are kind of chasing money. And then, but you're like, you're pretty noble and digni dignified and wiser. And it's like, you kind of know what's up with life already. You know, what's up with this connection and you're just kind of wishing they would get it together already, you know, so you guys could work together here and create together with the three of pentacles. All right. Now we're going to take a look at your person. So Leo's person, what is their overall energy in this connection? Here's the six of pentacles. So I feel there has been some hesitation to maybe give more to you. There's forgiving and learning. It's possible they don't even quite know how to do a balanced relationship right now. Patience, everything will unfold as it should in divine timing. We did have temperance coming up for here for you here as well. Okay, so it looks like this person does not want to rush forward. It's possible they are trying to take their time to have enough to give to you because they feel like they have nothing they can really give you right now. I do feel like, again, this person has a lot to learn about being in a relationship. That's why we believe like the knight and king here. Here's depth. Wow. I want to give you more of me and I want more of you. So this could mean you know, there's a lot, a lot going on beneath the surface with this person that they're not letting on. And the six of pentacles, you know, this card talks about giving. So that's very interesting. They know that you deserve more from them. They want to give you more. But again, it's a timing issue with patience coming up. Wow, self-sabotage. Yeah, this this person is their own worst enemy. They could be sabotaging themselves in this connection for some reason. Um, you know, usually it's a subconscious thing. So why are they sabotaging themselves in this connection? Or it could be even just their success in general in life. They kind of just mess things up. Here's the Hierophant. They could have had some kind of like really strict upbringing or just some strict rules in their life, some strict beliefs. And this has caused a pattern in them of always wanting to rebel. So, you, you know, any kind of structure, like a structure in a relationship that could be very positive for them, they could possibly be rebelling against that and they like destruct it, you know, even um, destroy it, even if it's something good for them and they don't realize what they're doing though. So this is why it's like a big learning process for them. And I feel you have been very patient with them for this. Um, yeah, I do... I do love Leos in that way. It's interesting because like the fire signs, you know, they're supposed to be a little more impatient, especially Aries. But when it, it seems like when it comes to like learning and um, letting people learn and teach people things like the fire signs are like really patient. It's like, it must be that youthful energy that they understand. Like, you, you know, people are just trying their best. And that's one thing I admire about fire signs in general. Okay. Um, what else for overall energy for Julio? Surrender, ready to follow you anywhere. To me, this feels like kind of a teacher student type card um, as well, where it's like, you know, they're, they're trying to just kind of follow your example because they don't have a good example of a relationship. Maybe, you know, perhaps like their parents didn't have a good relationship, something like that. They haven't seen a good relationship which is common probably for a lot of people. All right. So what are they thinking about you, Leo? The page of swords. This is another, like somewhat of a student card, you know, where they're curious, they're learning, they're, they're trying to just observe you, they're trying to find out more about you. I feel like they're really trying to, they're kind of like alien where they're trying to figure out how, how do human relationships work? Here's the hermit. Yeah. They are doing deep thinking on this where they, I feel they're very shy, like they don't know how to even communicate to you what they're thinking or feeling about these kinds of things. Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo here. And then here's the Four of Swords. Wow. These are all cards of being quiet. I feel like they're, they're trying to gather their thoughts. They don't even know what to say. They just don't know. So, you know, you might be 
ready and willing to forgive them immediately if they come forward with an apology, but it might take some time because I feel like they just don't understand how to communicate. And this depth card, you know, this could be, this is like water. So, you know, that, that could mean they're really feeling something, but water is not communication. It's just feeling without saying it. All right, so what are they feeling about you, Leo? The Two of Swords? You have the Two of Swords as well, so you're mirroring that. Both of you are conflicted about this connection. There's the Four of Pentacles. So I feel like they're afraid of saying something and like missing the mark with you. Wow, Ten of Cups. So this is beautiful with the depth card here. Um, you know, they, they are pulled in two directions where on the one hand, it's like, they're just like, I just need to be myself. I need to keep to myself. I don't want to share anything with anyone. You know, I, I'm afraid of letting anyone in. But then on the other hand, it's like, they really want this. They, they feel so much happiness with you. I mean, we do have the sun here for the overall energy. So yeah, it's like, they're afraid. They, they just don't know how to, to make it work with you though. They feel like it, maybe it's kind of a gamble to do this. Like they would just be, you know, throwing a dart with a blindfold on. And just hoping that they'll be hitting the target. All right, so what else for Leo's person? We have the Five of Swords. Yeesh. Okay, so they might have kind of just selfishly cut off communication or just did something kind of selfish. Where's the sun again? Like maybe they're just kind of going off for their own happiness right now. And the magician, yeah, they're definitely just going and doing their own thing right now. Um, they're not in a place to be giving enough to you. But, you know, I feel like you've been so patient with them overall. So, yeah, I mean, just use your intuition if it makes sense to, you know, continue working with them or if it makes more sense with for you to just move on to someone else completely. Okay, let's get you some a little more information here. So, Leo, what are their intentions towards you right now? What are your person's intentions towards you? Here's the Queen of Pentacles. Interesting, since we did have this Ten of Cups coming up as well. So, I mean, overall, they could be seeking a more permanent relationship with you eventually. Let's clarify Queen of Pentacles. The Empress, wow, yeah, speaking of a permanent relationship. So, some of them might have some visions of marrying you one day. Especially, we do have this um, stability, this can stand the test of time card, you know, where and we have patience. So we have a lot of timing going on here, you know, where it's like if there has been some rough stuff between you two, it doesn't necessarily mean the connection has to be over. All right, what are their blocks in this connection with you? The Knight of Pentacles, yeah, they're just not ready to move forward very fast. You know, they're just going to be taking their time. They also might be with Knight here as well, so they might just be still kind of building up um, their life right now. All right, what's a possible next action towards you? The Five of Pentacles. So this means they're still like not ready to be letting you in very much. The Three of Pentacles. Yeah, they're still a little afraid to work together right now. So something will have to kind of shift in this connection for them to, you know, start feeling, to get their confidence back up. All right, what's the one month, what's the most likely one month future of this connection? With Leo and the person. There's the High Priestess. So many of you won't necessarily be in a physical relationship with them in the near future. Queen of Cups. It's going to be more of an intuitive connection. Maybe not a lot of talking. Seven of Pentacles. But I do feel like there's still going to be some care exchange between you two where you're going to have some signs of you guys still care about one another and, you know, that it still will feel like this is growing 
into the future. So I do feel like this is something where you guys are able to get through rough patches together. You know, there has been something rough and difficult here, especially if you're really angry about something and you are expecting an apology. But I feel like the, a big message coming through here is that if you want to, you guys can get through this because of um, the stability card here and just all this patience and learning coming through. So this could pay off in the future if that resonates with you. All right, let's get some advice from you, Leo, and then we'll get some messages from them. So what advice does Leo most need in this section right now? The Page of Wands. Okay, so I feel like right now if you kind of approach this person in a really serious manner, it probably won't get through to them. I feel like you might have to, if you really want to communicate with them, you have to take it down to a like a lighter, you know, more fun, flirty kind of level. That's how, that's what's going to get through to them. Or maybe one way to kind of start up communication with them. Again, if you haven't been talking very much is to come to them with some good news, something very fun to talk about. And that can kind of like take the pressure off and just kind of help open them open up to you a bit more. Okay, two cards popping out here. Oh, 999. Okay ending cycle close cycles close and new beginnings so yeah it could mean like i'm saying you guys are just going through a cycle that that's ending right now you are gonna can't have a restart because of this connection that's just so stable and can stand the test of time and here we have you're out of alignment mission needs a reassignment okay so this could mean like this connection has really thrown you off balance so once you start kind of getting yourself back into balance you know if you're finding your inner peace again then that will help align this connection again if you still want this connection in your life Okay, more advice for Leo. All right, this card. Ooh, the Divine Feminine. All right, so, yeah, with all this, like, royalty here, I feel like this is a card telling you to really appreciate yourself and just radiate beauty out, okay? So what, whatever that means to you, or just radiating a really beautiful magnetic energy, you know, whether you're a man or a woman, just a very, um, just, like, really owning your beauty and like everything that people would appreciate you just about you just radiate those qualities start appreciating yourself more okay so move from the distorted energy of being feeling like you've been taken advantage of and hurt and move into like just someone who's just royalty and you know they aren't going to have their emotions controlled by others okay so step back into your power so that way you can just be this radiant royal person all right, and then we have number nine, three witchy sisters, the power of three. Now, that's interesting. Power of three. I'm going to look in the book for this just to see what other information we have here. So it could be even just be telling you that, you know, you're a pretty powerful person, that, you know, you're like, you almost have like the power of three in one in you. <laughs> um, let's see. Da -da -da. Okay, that says the divination message for this card is something that has just happened will happen twice, then three times. Something that has already happened twice will happen one more time. Okay, that's possibly. So maybe this incident, or if just whatever happened between you two might happen. This might be the third time it's happening. So if this is the third time it's happened, it's now complete. So maybe it was meant to happen like three times. You know, we have a nine here, we have nine, nine, nine here. So that's interesting. Um, Finished, farewelled, finally, by the three who are in charge of these strands of fate that repeat in threes so the lesson is learned. So, yeah, if there was some kind of, like, we have learning here. So, if you guys can just learn the lesson from this, then it can be released. This pattern can be released so you don't have to repeat this again. Here's magenta. Number five, connect to your deepest inner knowing. All right, so that's important for you guys because that's going to help bring you some peace. Because I do feel like this connection has been very rough for you lately and you really need to find your, your inner peace and your inner balance and your inner power. Okay, so the Divine Feminine, this is someone who does connect to their inner knowing and by having that, you know, connection to God or the source, the universe, they're able to really, you know, protect themselves and just be able to avoid situations that will hurt them. Okay, some more messages for you. Okay, what would Leo's person actually say to them? I wish I did things differently. Now I don't know how to fix us. Yeah, again, they, they just don't know how to do relationships. But I feel like there is potential and promise here for many of you. 
I have lied to you and betrayed you. Oh my gosh, I was in a very dark space at that time. I'm doing much better now. I'm not the same person that you remember. Okay, that's good. So take that if that resonates. I'm trying to trust in divine timing. That makes sense with the patience card coming up. It's just saying we have divine timing twice for them. So this is a lot of the, just them not being quite ready to fully take this on. But they are trying to follow your lead. Oh my gosh. Love isn't always on time. Please be patient with me. All right, you guys. Well, that's a big message for you here today. That um, you know they, they're not really ready for this, but they, they very well could be in the future. So I feel like you just need to be their teacher in this if that's what you feel called to do. If not, of course, you can move on if you want to. So maybe you've been getting some intuitive hits that maybe it's time for you to kind of move on. Or just, you know, kind of take a break or cool down for a bit, possibly. Here's Unbridled, number 22, Your Spirit Set Me Free. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of independence coming through for you, Leo, right now. So I do feel that many of you are split from this connection or like newly split or just, you know, feeling like you need to kind of just have your space and, um, you know, do things on your own for a little while. All right. So let's see here. So for Leo, what are you thinking right now about your person in this connection? So let's see this card left about. Here we have the Seven of Cups. The Four of Wands. And the Six of Cups. Wow. All right. So Four of Wands can come up with a stability card a lot because this is a card of, you know, just feeling feeling really like at home and deeply rooted with someone. This is another card of feeling at home with someone. This can be the past life connection card as well. So I feel that, you know, no matter what goes on with this person, you like, I still feel like you, you would forgive them for just about anything. You know, if they would just kind of come forward with an apology to you, you're ready to like reconcile and forgive them. If not, you're, I feel like you're kind of confused what you're going to do if they don't come forward with that apology and, I feel like there's a lot of confusion going on for you in this connection right now. Maybe you're not quite sure, you know, you maybe need to move on, but you're not too sure what direction to take. You're not really, you know, really determined to move on right now because you still do feel, feel a sense of home and permanence and stability and this beautiful, loving connection with this person. So you're just kind of like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what the future holds for me right now. Okay. So what about your feelings for them? Okay, here's the magician. The two of swords. And the two of wands. All right, here we go again where you're kind of stuck. You feel conflicted, mentally conflicted about which way to go because you feel that there is a crossroads like you can either stay with this person or you can go ahead and move on to something better so i feel like you really want to be stepping into your power right now but on the other hand you have this hesitation because you still have these feelings for this person okay what else for you leo okay here is the knight of pentacles yeah, you've been very reliable for this person. I feel very steadfast for them. Very patient. You know, here's the two of cups. You've really shown your love to this person. Maybe you've really tried to romance them and just really show how loyal you are to them. Wow, temperance. Speaking of like just loyalty and being there for the long term, this is a card of just patience and balance. So I feel like you've been so patient with this person. You've been very kind and loving with them. So I don't know what happened where, you know, you guys kind of felt like you had to go your own way. Something, something must have um, been kind of major here. I'm not seeing like the tower come up, but maybe they haven't been just moving quickly enough for you. Maybe they're, they're just too stuck. 
or maybe they are, you know, with the prostitute card, they're selling out a bit to maybe more material concerns. And it could be that, you know, maybe you're just on like kind of a higher level than them right now. Maybe they're still kind of out questing as the knight and they don't really know what they want in life just yet. And maybe they are kind of chasing money. And then, but you're like, you're pretty noble and digni dignified and wiser. And it's like, you kind of know what's up with life already. You know what's up with this connection. And you're just kind of wishing they would get it together already, you know, so you guys could work together here, create together with the Three of Pentacles. All right, now we're going to take a look at your person. So Leo's person, what is their overall energy in this connection? Here's the Six of Pentacles. So I feel there has been some hesitation to maybe give more to you. There's forgiving and learning. It's possible they don't even quite know how to do a balanced relationship right now. Patience, everything will unfold as it should in divine timing. We did have temperance coming up for here for you here as well. Okay, so it looks like this person does not want to rush forward. It's possible they are trying to take their time to have enough to give to you because they feel like they have nothing they can really give you right now. I do feel like, again, this person has a lot to learn about being in a relationship. That's why we believe like the knight and king here. Here's depth. Wow. I want to give you more of me and I want more of you. So this could mean you know, there's a lot, a lot going on beneath the surface with this person that they're not letting on. And the Six of Pentacles, you know, this card talks about giving. So that's very interesting. They know that you deserve more from them. They want to give you more. But again, it's a timing issue with patience coming up. Wow, self-sabotage. Yeah, this, this person is their own worst enemy. They could be sabotaging themselves in this connection for some reason. Um, you know, usually it's in the subconscious thing. So why are they sabotaging themselves in this connection? Or it could be even just their success in general in life. They kind of just mess things up. There's the Hierophant. They could have had some kind of like really strict upbringing or just some strict rules in their life, some strict beliefs. And this has caused a pattern in them of always wanting to rebel. So, you, you know, any kind of structure, like a structure in a relationship that could be very positive for them, they could possibly be rebelling against that. And they like destruct it, you know, even... Um, destroy it even if it's something good for them and they don't realize what they're doing though so this is why it's like a big learning process for them and i feel you have been very patient with them for this um yeah i do i do love leos in that way it's interesting because like the fire signs you know they're supposed to be a little more impatient especially aries but when it it seems like when it comes to like learning and um, letting people learn and teach people things, like the fire signs are like Hello really there patient. Hello and welcome it's like, beautiful I mean, It must be that youthful energy that they, they understand like energy between you, know, you two people right are just now. trying so their best that for and in their person. That's one thing I admire about fire signs in general. Okay. Okay, we have the Eight of Cups um, letting go. Energy towards you, Leo. So this can mean several things. This can mean you guys are at a long distance, like a physical distance between you two. You haven't been able to surrender or right? to follow you anywhere. To me, this feels Hello like kind of a teacher student type welcome, card beautiful stars. Um, as well, Can't where it's like, you know, they're, they're trying you. to just kind of follow your example because they don't have a good example of a relationship, Here's maybe. Five of cups. You know, perhaps like their parents didn't have a good relationship, also meant to something like that. We'll they haven't seen a good today. relationship. That will be linked below. Um, which is common probably pentacles. for a lot of people. All right. So what are they thinking about you, Leo? And we have the tower. The page of wow, swords. Okay, this person's really... This is another, like, somewhat of a big. student card, you know, where they're curious. Um, I'm going to get your learning. They're, they're trying to just observe you. More into that. Trying to find so out more about you. I feel like they're really trying to... They're kind of, like, alien, where they're trying to figure out how, how human judgment. relationships work. Here's the hermit. Yeah, they we are doing the deep thinking on this, where they... I feel they're very shy. Like, they don't know how to even communicate to you yeah, what they're thinking you're feeling about these kinds wow, of things you look beautiful cancer wow okay so let's get the, here. the connecting energy between you two and then here's the four of swords wow these are all cards of being quiet Ace of swords. i feel like they're, they're trying to gather their thoughts they don't even know what to say okay so i they just don't there know could be 
an important conversation coming so, up. So, you know, really you might be out ready and willing to forgive them immediately if they come Maybe forward both of you with an apology, but it might take some time because see, I feel like the they situation just here. don't understand um, how to communicate. Clearly seeing some truth that was hidden from both of you before. So both and of you are kind of having you know, your, your wake-up call. This is like water. So, you know, I mean, they're really feeling something, but getting water is not We also have the star on the bottom of the deck here. So that's beautiful. There's a lot of clarity coming through this connection here. I feel like this person is really missing you. There's a lot of regret here with this five of cups i feel like they um really are the starting to feel maybe Ooh, the two of swords if you guys were working together as a team before or Both of you are just i don't know what it is like connection. they just miss your company they feel Here's very the lost pentacles. without your company right now okay let's see i'm going to get more connected so i energy. feel like they're afraid of saying Thank something you. and like missing we have the mark reconciliation my goodness wow so, ton of cops this is about the so fourth is sign in a row aries through here. cancer now that um, you know they they uh, are cold uh, in two directions where on the one hand it's like they're up. just like i and just need to be myself because, i need to keep to myself um, i don't I want to share anything with anyone you know i'm afraid of letting anyone in but then on the other hand, it's like, like they really shadow. want this. They, they feel okay, so much happiness with you. I mean, we do have the sun and here express your love, for the go overall ahead and energy. Make the romantic so, gesture. Yeah, so I do like, feel the judgment they, here, they just Cancer, you guys to, are... To make it work I've really you, learned some serious lessons through this. I feel like maybe it's kind of a gamble to do this. Like there, and welcome, you know, beautiful the dart with stars. All right, Scorpio. Where is your connection right now? What is the overall energy of it? All right, so what else for Leo's person? Okay, so... Um, I feel like uh, there's a lot of just mystery in this connection swords. between you and your person. A lot each. is unknown about each other, so you both okay, so are they like, might have very curious about what the other one is thinking or just feeling. Something kind of selfish. Uh, it could be a very strong, again. intuitive, and psychic connection between you both as well. Like maybe they're just kind of going off for their own happiness right now. And the magician, yeah, they're definitely just going and doing their own thing. This connection right is now. bringing up fears. Um, they're not in a place to be Ooh, giving pretty. enough There's to you. There's a star. But, you know, oh. I feel like you've been so okay. Patient so I like with seeing this overall. with the moon here. So, so that means I feel yeah, like I mean, both just of you use your intuition are willing if it makes to sense to you know, continue. You know, working with them or if it makes more fears sense that have come up for between you. Just move on to someone else completely. Um, you know, if if there was some kind of something that got in between you two and you guys are not together right now, I feel both of you still think highly of one another and have hopes for maybe something more in the future or just some kind of connection.